What's up, everyone? I'm Lazy Wolf, and I have a friend with me today. Hello, everyone. It is Drift Around here. He'll be joining us later in Team Nightfire. But, uh... So, this video is about comparisons between Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Yes, people... saying which one they like better. People say most of them, I would have to say, say they like Call of Duty better, because it's... I don't know, it hasn't been around for as longer like they've been around for most of the same time but more people have known about call of duty than battlefield yeah like i just heard about battlefield since bad company 2 um loved it when i started playing it still love it now like call of duty how about you well I, honestly i i mean i've played both i like both started uh the first call of duty i ever played was uh was <laughs> was uh call of duty 4 uh first modern warfare it's pretty good I the only the thing I noticed in Modern Warfare 3 is basically the MP5 from COD 4 is basically a copy paste <laughs> to Modern Warfare and, 3 and the P90 yeah and the P90 is copy paste of every Modern Warfare game but uh, I've been re I've been playing Battlefield 3 a lot too mm -hmm. I like that game too I mean it's has some yeah. good aspects to it see I started playing I actually started with Call of Duty 2 and 3 but this was before I had like live or anything so I played Call of Duty 2 3 all the way up to like Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2 came out and then I got live and then I started playing that didn't get into Black Ops much and then I started playing Modern, War Modern Warfare 3 a little bit more then played Battlefield and loved it yeah so uh, let's get into our first topic about uh, guns so yeah. um a lot of the guns are really good in both the games some of the problems I have is in Call of Duty a few of them are mis like is miscategorize it for me like the mp7 they say is a submachine gun but it's really what's called a personal defense weapon where it's a smaller weapon which you can conceal easily where battlefield 3 has it as a personal defense weapon categorize right um what the g36c g they say it's in battle or no call of duty they say it's an assault rifle but it once again they miscategorize it where it's not assault rifle i've heard it's a submachine gun and i've heard it's carbine i'm not sure which one i have to do re more research on which one it is so yeah but not an assault rifle so i mean call of duty isn't the best at categorizing guns but i'd say battlefield 3 does a better better job but no, uh, no game can really be perfect unless yeah. it's literally oh, unless it's literally a war simulator like you mm -hmm. have exact same thing unless they bring in like military people to say let's say okay this is this and this is this yeah so about the recoil of the guns I mean in in Battlefield I mean you wait, have wait 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 what recoil <laughs> Call of Duty that's yeah a, recoil is unheard of yeah especially with that kick proficiency so with Modern Warfare 3 I mean you're using that PP with kick I mean you're uh, not really moving at all no you're AC, ACR with kick, you don't even need kick for it. Yeah, you know. It has no recoil at all. Or Battlefield, you're going at long distance, you have to burst fire those guns. You you have to. I mean, with the... with that, I mean, that full auto is... I mean, that that's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Especially with bullet spread, too, because, like, with the light machine guns, and I remember in the beta, I just felt like holding down the trigger for a while at a wall just to see what would happen, it's, and I saw bullets going yeah, all it, over it's the place. Yeah, it's It's like decking the wall with bullets, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, let's get a little bit more into detail with some of the guns. Snipers, for instance. A lot of people like sniping in Call of Duty. And it's definitely, I like doing that too. Uh, regular sniping, quick scoping. Well, the quick scoping really became invalid in Battlefield 3, where, ah. I mean, you should really be a sniper. I'm not saying sit in your base and snipe all the way across the map. No. Mm -hmm. Be in a good position. Say you're playing Conquest and your team has C and B. Uh go somewhere that looks over A and just sit there. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Find, like, a good rock, set up your bipod, and you should be fine. After a while, since of the, I guess, kill cams, you could call them, where they zoom in on you, and yeah. after a while, people start looking for you, but you keep on moving, they'll be hard to find you if you're a good sniper. Yeah, I mean, you don't use the, the call of duty term camping. I mean, you you can't really camp as a sniper. I mean, you're just... I mean, you're, I mean, you are sitting in one position, but that's mm -hmm. basically what snipers do. I mean, you're not long ranging with like a light machine gun or something. Yeah. So, uh, with a lot of the attachments for the guns, um, Call of Duty definitely was. I would have to say is one of the first games that actually said 
oh, this is an idea that we can do, let's do it. And they did a very, very good job on it. Um, but what they could have done be better is what Battlefield 3 just did, is that you can change your attachments during the game. So, like, if you have um, part of the map where it's a lot of close quarters, you can put on your red dot and your suppressor and a grip and be fine. Or if you get to a point where there's a lot of long range um, points in the game, you can put on like an ACOG scope and then a heavy barrel and a grip and it'll be perfectly fine. Where sure you can put the same gun on Call of Duty with different attachments, but personally I don't like doing that. I like having all different kinds of weapons. Yeah, I mean like you I'd rather not use like in Modern Warfare two there's perk, like bling. I'd rather not use that which I could have used Scavenger for for two attachments. I just found that stupid. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do you need a perk or now with that what's a proficiency? Why do you need that for attachments? And that's that's stupid. That is what I like better is that they have the proficiencies and now that you you not need to take out your first perk just to have two attachments on. Yeah, because I I didn't like that. Yeah. So uh, with the equipment, like a lot of C four, like. We've been talking about C4 a C4, lot. I mean, yes. Uh, C4 is a lot stronger in Battlefield. Uh, size to, like, weight ratio. Yeah. I mean, obviously you have the normal size brick of C4 uh, with Battlefield, but then you have pretty much three of those bricks, or a satchel, in Call of Duty, which pretty much makes the same explosion. Yeah, but you, but it doesn't. It just it, it creates this, like, little tiny-ish explosion. Poof. Yeah. It's a poof. Yeah, it's basically anyone in the blast radius is not... Anyone near the C4 is dead. Anyone in the, mm -hmm. basically at the edge of the blast radius isn't really dead, which they really should be. Yeah. So. Um, and even more equipment, the trophy system. Oh, God, the trophy system. Um, it's my fa most favorite equipment ever. A lot of... I don't see... I mean, in, like... Oh, what is it? Drop zone? That's yeah. That's most of the time that I see it, and sometimes in domination, yeah. just on the B flag. But... What many people don't know, and, and my friend Lazy Wolf here found yeah. out, I don't know, he's probably not the first one. L let me explain this, though. Uh, <laughs> yes. A trophy system, now, as a projectile, projectile is a lot of kill streaks. It can actually block a Predator missile, a Reaper, an AC-130 bullet, many, many of those mm -hmm. things. Like, it can block javelins and noob tubes and all these things. Now, with one of the new updates, they actually made it so now when you destroy a Predator missile... It's not. It's not leaving you wondering like what happened to my predator missile. No, it actually says so and so destroyed predator missile. Oh yeah, that that update definitely made it good. Yeah. Um, me and me and Lazy Wolf were in a party with a bunch of other friends and we just started laughing our asses off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, kill streaks and vehicles. Obviously, one makes the game. One, they both make each game special. Both are extremely good in each individual game. Couldn't have done anything wrong with them. Um. Kill streaks. Call of Duty is known for vehicles. Battlefield Three is known for love. Both of them. Yeah, both great. Mm -hmm. I mean, like some of the power of the kill streaks you have in Call of Duty, you don't have. You don't have the power of the uh, vehicles in Battlefield. But if you do have, like, say, like an attack helicopter with the pilot and the gunner working together, I mean, that is pretty amazing. That I would have to say, if you have good communication with all your people in your vehicles in Battlefield, that is just as good as having uh, AC-130 in Modern Warfare 3 by far. Yeah. Because you can get... Not, not only... It's not timed. It's... They have to shoot you do, down, or you have to be a yeah. bad pilot. Yeah, a bad pilot. Essentially. Or, or the small chance that a jet runs into you, but that's... Yeah, that's just not... That's not... Doesn't happen very uh, normally. Um, and our last topic is de destructible environment. Um, Modern Warfare 3, unheard of. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, Modern Warfare 3, and basically the whole entire Call of Duty series, you're camping in corners. Mm -hmm. Battlefield 3, I mean, this, this, basically you say, what corner? Yeah, it's, As, especially with the new, was it, Frostwire 2? I think so. Uh, running engine, it everything just looks beautiful, uh, destruction-wise. I need you to get times when trees will fall in buildings, and like you'll have all the branches inside the buildings, yeah. which is really annoying, but other than that, just a really beautiful looking game. I know yeah. that's pretty weird to say uh, about what? a first person shooter, but like just the explosions, it 
Looks really, really nice. Yeah, it's really good. Where Modern Warfare 3, they kind of stuck with the same running engine as Modern Warfare 2. They said, oh, it was good enough, so why change it? Yeah, where, some people call Modern Warfare 3 Modern Warfare 2.5. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where Battlefield 3, there's definitely significant change in the graphics from Battlefield 3 um, and Bad Company 2. Yeah. So, that would wrap this up. So, I'm Laser Wolf. And I'm Drift Around. And we're done.